oh, no doubt he could tell you about the entire Newfoundland regiment that was wiped out. In the village of Beaumont Campbell, in the first battle of the Psalm, 750 men, only 40 not wounded for dead. He might be able to tell you that. But could he tell you what the weather was like on that summer's day, how the sun rose on a beautiful Saturday morning, on the, on the valley floor, just a bit of mist and patches of scarlet poppies and the green fields of Picardy? Could he tell you that? How one regiment after the other was wiped out. The, the Royal Dublin Fusiliers, the, the Border Regiment, the, the Essex, at all. And then it came the Newfoundlanders' turn. Colonel Howard marched forward 20 yards and gave the signal. Then the Colonel, the Captain, blew the whistle. The men went over the top, heading into straight into the German crossfire, knowing they were going into certain death. Not, not a single man flinched or turned back. Just kept on walking in perfect drill formation. The sun glinting off their bay bayonets. Could he tell you that? Could he tell you what the observers noticed the day the Newfoundland regiment walked into the storm of machine gun fire and mortar shells? How, how all the soldiers, too, Two men tucked their chins into their forward shoulders like sailors leaning against a gale. Could he tell you that? Yes. Then there was Will Mackenzie. Will Mackenzie just waiting for those brave soldiers to come back so he could whittle them down, but to sigh seven years later. The same, the, the same man who was part of the famous Blue Parties, the same as your own father, the same man who crawled through the trenches of Gallipoli in 1915 in his tropical outfit, not taking a stitch or a wash. The same man who endured the November storm that they called the worst in 40 years with 200 men swept away in a flooded trench or froze to death when the rain stopped and the killing frost set in, rubbing, rubbing their feet with whale oil and, and sticking them in the sandbags with, with, with straw. Yeah, but he'd sit in the mud of Suvla Plain with his bread and his jam and then the flies, that tick of bread would be so black before he got into his mouth. Those same flies that bred in the corpses of no man's <laughs> <laughs>